What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're going to be talking about Nodoka. Uh, Blorka tweeted this out, and I did not see this coming, honestly, and she seems like to be potentially like one of the best one stars, but we'll talk about that. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, comment down below what you guys think about Nodoka, and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy this content, and hit the bell notification, that way you know when I upload. But anyways, let's just go ahead and hop into the video. Alright guys, so um, I did not see this one coming, like, this was crazy, uh, I guess Blue Archive can just literally do whatever they want, because the Japanese version is already out, so on Global, they just throw, like, other characters out, and some of you guys are thinking, like, bro, this is a one-star, how is this crazy? I will explain to you guys, this is a character that you actually really want to have, like, even if you're not going for Cherno. Uh, and I'll explain that to you. So Nodoka, she is a submachine gun user. She is from uh, the Red Winter Academy. So we will have new, um, what am I trying to say, uh, materials for her, which is okay. She's going to be a special support um, in the, uh, it says in the back, but she's honestly not even going to be on field. She's going to be a B across the board. She's going to be explosion with heavy armor. Uh, what's crazy, she has some gloves to get some extra damage. And then she has some extra healing here. Healing and crowd control power, I think, on the necklace. There's some extra health. Uh, and her stats, she doesn't have too high of attack. Again, she's a support. And then her crit rate and crit damage is, like, all right. But it's her skills, right? So her EX skill, it increases her ally's accuracy by 25% within a round-shaped area for 30 seconds. It costs 3, which you can go all the way up to 47%. So how does this help? This helps your characters who are sitting around like Subaki and PvP hit harder, right? This is like a Kotama, um, oh, but it's for accuracy. And what does that accuracy help? It helps your people kill Subakis, right? This is what makes like having Nodoka with Serena, where you have units who can actually now like friggin' hit Subaki and make some of your matches go a little bit better, honestly, right? And so this is where I see this character being very vital for some of you guys being that she's a one star um like she can just help out your accuracy especially with the normal skill which she's like literally a budget swimsuit mashiro with this i'm telling you she is every 25 seconds she deals 221 percent damage against a single enemy and reduces its evasion by 17 percent for 20 seconds it goes all the way up to 30 percent right so 30 percent that's a little bit high but, like, and then, like, you know, you have to do level 10. But, like, that's, she's literally, like, a one-star swimsuit monster that we get early, right? And it's crazy because, like, we can start seeing what happens to Subaki's early when you reduce her evasion and give everybody accuracy. Like, will Subaki become uh, literally not important in the game, right? And it's... It's funny because, like, I'm already using, like, me personally, I'm already using a unit, uh, like, Jury, which most people, like, think is, like, a free slot because I don't have Hibiki. So, like, I'm definitely going to build up Nodoka now. Like, the fact that she can increase my accuracy and then, like, lower evasion on Tsubaki, this is huge. Um, for PvE, like, it's all right, right? You can just make sure your units, like, never miss. But this is, like... This is a PvP one star right here. She is going to shine. And I will build her up and I will show you guys how good she is or not, right? Like I'm I'm gonna definitely use her. Like this seems amazing. Passive skill increases her accuracy. So now she can hit this sh like shot even more effectively. Come on. Like sub skill increases her allies' accuracy. Now she's like a Mashiro. She is literally a budget Mashiro in swimsuit like Mashiro with this. This is this is amazing. Like I, I know I keep repeating myself, but this is amazing. She's like and she boosts everyone's accuracy here on her EX skill. She boosts everyone's accuracy here on the sub skill. She lowers the evasion on units. So like those Yukas and those Subaki, she can literally like make them weaker so this unit here i do suggest getting even if you don't want cherry note do a pull or so like do a couple pulls on cherry banner and get 
Nodica. I know it'll take a lot to level her up because she's a one star with the e lifts, but that can still like you know save you because like you can build her up whenever you get your e lifts, whenever you dump your twenty four thousand gems onto like the other um, banners, like the limited banners and everything like that. So you can eventually build her up, and I know it'll be hard, but I'm telling you, she's gonna be a very, very solid unit uh, for PvP. I think she's going to possibly shake up the meta just a little bit if you put a lot of investment into her like right because like she is a one star but i feel like if you put a lot of investment into her she can really do something for you and i'm excited to use her unfortunately that means that i have to kind of like you know swap swap out jury for a little bit but i do think it's worth to try um especially like with i have some units that do high amounts of damage and i can reduce subaki's damage so, um, Nodoka, I, I think this is an insane unit to have as a one star. I think she's going to make your PvP matches a lot better, especially if you level her up, get her up to a three star. That way she can get that, uh, sub skill. Um, so yeah, this is, this is exciting. This is really exciting. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers have a good one. Lucky Lux out.